welcome back to the vlog people i hope you guys are doing well it is monday we are back to the graft unfortunately it's about 20 to 8 we've just finished up a lovely workout at the gym we're gonna go get the apprentice and then we're gonna pick up the lights for today we have got a load of driveway lights to get put in today we're already about halfway through them so what we've got to do is get them all sort of first fixed see if we can get them second fixed as well depends if they're ready or not so we've got all them driveway lights to do today we're going to take you through it i think we're also going to pop to the wholesalers because they've got bg coming down to have a look at their new ev chargers because at the job we're on i think we've got about 11 ev chargers to install so we're going to take a look down the wholesalers at their bg range and see if they're any good we've done a little trip to costco the weekend and we picked up 25 sharpies just Look at that, that is like sparky heaven right there. I'm gonna have loads of Sharpies forever now. Hopefully the apprentice don't lose them. Knowing him, he just, every time I give him a Sharpie, he just loses it. So yeah, he's got 25 to lose. Let's go get him and then get to the job. Right, so we have got the driveway lights for today. They are, let's get them unboxed and show you guys what we've got so these are the driveway lights jcc if he stops cutting it might be a right a bob but let's get them unboxed show you what they sort of are so these are about four inch wide they come with this uh they come with this collar but we're not actually going to use that because i'll show you why in a little while but they come with this collar that comes off like that pre-wired and then the wings just hold them into place but we've already got some four inch duck in installed into the ground so we're just going to push them in you've got your led and it shines out so they're pre-wired we're just going to get them all wired up we have got some whisker boxes just a small whisker boxes some whisker glands as well some stuffing glands so we're just going to get them all wagoed up and boxed up and then they're good to go what I'm going to do is start making up the whisker boxes. So just prepping them. What we're going to do is one in each side and then one coming out the bottom. We've also got this little tool to use that whisker sent out. I haven't used it yet, but it is the official tool for the stuffing glands. So that is the exact same size as the thing, as the stuffing gland. So you don't get any of the grip marks when you usually use the grip sometimes they score the gland and you get all them horrible marks on it so that just fits nice and snug and then you can do up your stuffing glands like that also in the box you get this little tool as well which goes with it i imagine that side is like a bottle opener i don't know what that would be used for but this side you can put the flathead bit into it which then does the lids of the whisker box so that fits perfectly into the lids. Wow, I was taking off the caps, but then I realized, I thought it was gonna be a bit tight getting this over the caps, but it does go so there's two different sides to it so that's obviously the bigger side and that just slides onto there like that and then you can do it up so you don't even need to take that cap off i was going to say that is the only downfall with it that it's too tight to get over there but you don't have to take it off so that's a lovely bit of kit thanks whisker for sending it out much appreciated it's so what we're going to do is we've got a draw wire here we're going to poke that through the conduit Hopefully there's no mud in there and we just get a clear run. So grab that out of there. So now that's our draw wire. So we can tape the pre-wired flex onto that and pull that through. Then we can take that straight to the whisker boxes. Now the lights, they're just clip into there. The wings will just clip them in. So they're nice and sturdy. They're not going anywhere. And then they can do the driveway round it. When they come to do the driveway, they can just pull them out, put them onto there, and then they can tar and do their driveway bits. Mm -hmm. 
that need to go in so we're just going to cut them at 250 each and then cut them with the grinder then what we have to do is slot out the bottom for the conduit to go through and then what we use this bad boy to get our four inch hole into the ground so we put that into the drill into the ground drill out our four inch hole and then we can slide our duct into that so we're just going to get all these cut up now four inch waste pipe so the lights fit perfectly into there which is notched out the bottom so then our conduit can fit directly into there so that is the setup we're going with to house our light what we need to do is come 125 mil to the center of the duct so off this 125 mil center of the duct then we're just going to use this bad boy to drill it out and then we can get our duct in i've also made up a bit of muck just to keep it in there nice and steady. Holes drilled out for the light, we're just gonna measure it up. Again, we've got about 12 and a half to the center, so that's pretty good. And then we wanna make sure that it's about halfway to this rail. Put the waste pipe into the ground, also made a bit of muck up, just to hold it in place, nice and sturdy. And then we've got our tough legs for the whisker boxes, and then we've just put our conduit in for the cable access of the lights so that's the main setup for the lights going in we just finished up all the outside lights um it was hard work, mate. that we could pretty much get done today there's still a bit more of the rail the edging to go round before we can measure off the edging to get the other outside lights in yeah digger boys flat out mate yeah you haven't dug any holes i've <laughs> been doing all the digging you've been second fixing but now We've done what we can for today. We'll probably finish it off tomorrow. We need to get uh, the sensors for them as well and the uh, switch few spurs. But now we're going to go to the wholesalers because BG's going down there and we're going to have a look into some of their new items. And potentially we're using the EV chargers on this job. So we need to check them out and see how they work as well. at the wholesalers with the bg guys uh, i didn't really film anything because i just wanted to take in the information that was getting given to us and some great information especially on multiple chargers in the same area as we have got a project of 11 ev chargers going in they also went into detail of their bg sync ev chargers as well they've made some upgrades to the previous ones just going through all the information on that so some great bits it's going to round up the vlog for today guys i hope you've enjoyed we've done a bit of outside lights we've got a bit to carry on for tomorrow and then we obviously had the talk with the bg guys at the wholesalers so hope you like the video i will catch you on the next one make sure you hit that subscribe button and like button and i'll catch you on the next one stay grafting lads